I am go I'm going to read Thomas and Gordon read the long story. Thomas and Gordon based on the web series by Ripper W. Audrey and memory of George Carlin and the Ripper W. Audrey. Day Redton. Thomas was a tanker to live at the big station. He had six small wheels, a short stumpy foot, short stumpy board, and a short stumpy dome. He was a feisty legend, always pulling coaches about. He pulled up to the station ready for the big engines to take out the long journeys. And when trains came in and the people got out, he would pull the empty coaches away so that the big engines could go and rest. He was a cheeky engine, too. He thought no engine worked as hard as he did. He used to play tricks on them. He liked best of all to come quietly beside a big engine, nosing, yeah, no, nosing on the siding. He make him jump. Peep, peep, peep. Peep, wake up, lazy bones. He would whistle when you work hard like me. Then he would laugh rudely and run away to find some coaches. One day, Gordon was resting on the study. He was very tired. The big express he always pulled had been late and he had had to run as fast as he Good to make up for lost time. He was going to sleep when Thomas came up in his cheeky way. Well, God bless you, boss. He was using hard work for a change. You can't catch me. And he ran off laughing. Instead of going to sleep, he got Gordon thought. But how he could. Gordon thought he could. Pay Thomas out. One more Thomas wouldn't go up. His driving fireman couldn't make him side. His fireman and one, and there was not enough steam. It was nearly time for the express. Pe the people or people were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. The last time I saw it. Oh dear, oh dear, he yawned. Come on, said the coaches. Hurry up. Thomas gay. Then Root bump and started for the station. Don't stop dawdling. Don't stop dawdling, he grumbled. Where have you been? Where have you been? Asked the, co asked the coaches crossly. Thomas fussed into the station while Gordon was waiting. Poop, poop, poop. <laughs> Hurry up, you. Said Gordon crossly. Peep, peep, peep. Hurry yourself, that cheeky Thomas. Yes, I got it. I will. Uh, almost before coaches had stopped moving, Gordon came out of his siding and was cobbled to the train. Poop, poop, he whistled. Get it quickly, please. So the people got in quickly. The signal went down. The clock struck the hour. The Guard waved his green flag and Gordon was ready to start. Thomas usually pushed behind the big trains, helped him start, but he was always uncoupled first. So oh, that when a train was running nicely, he could stop and go back. That time he was late. Gordon started so quickly that they forgot to uncouple Thomas. Poop, poop, said Gordon. Peep, 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 whistled Thomas. Come on, come on, puffed Gordon. The coaches, pull harder, pull harder, puffed Thomas to Gordon. The train slowly began to move out. Out of the station. The train went faster and faster. Too fast for Thomas. He wanted to stop, but he couldn't. Peep, peep. Stop, stop, he whistled. Hurry, 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 left Gordon in front. You can't get away, you can't get away, laughed the coaches. Poor Thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before. He was out of breath, and his wheels hurt him. 
But he had to go on. I should never be same again. He thought I leave my wheels be quite worn out. At last, they stopped at the station. Everyone laughed to see Thomas puffing and panting behind. They uncoupled him, put him onto a turntable, and then he ran on the siding out of the way. Well, at the Thomas chuckle, Gordon. Yes, he passed. Now you know what I means, don't you? Poor Thomas couldn't answer. He had no breath. He just puffed slowly to rest. He had a long look. He went home very slowly and was careful afterwards to be cheeky to Gordon again. This will be your last story is Thomas's story. Thomas often grumbled because he was not allowed to pull passengers tra passenger trains. Their engines laughed. You too impatient, they said. You be sure to leave something behind. Robert said Thomas crossly. You just wait. I'll show you. One night he and Henry were alone. Henry was ill. The man worked hard. But he didn't get better. Now Henry usually pulled the first train in the morning, and Thomas had to get his coaches ready. If Henry was early, thought, as I shall pull the train, Thomas ran to find the coaches. Come along, come along, he fussed. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time, he grumbled. There's plenty of time, he grumbled the coaches. Took them to the platform and wanted to run in front at once. The driver wouldn't let him. Don't be impatient, Thomas, he said. So Thomas waited and waited. The people got in. The guard and station master walked up and down. The porters banged the door, and still Henry didn't come. Thomas got more and more excited every minute. That top and head had came out of his office to see what was the matter, and the guard in the station master told him about Henry. Find another engine, he ordered. As long as Thomas they said, You have to do it, and Thomas, be quick now. So Thomas ran around to the front and back down on the coaches, ready to start. Don't be patient, says right. Wait till everything was ready. Well, Thomas was excited to listen to the word he said. What happened then? No one knows. Perhaps they forgot to couple to, to the train. Perhaps Thomas was too patient to wait till they were ready, or perhaps his driver pulled the lever by mistake. Anyhow, Thomas started. People shouted and waved at him, but he didn't stop. They were waving because I saw the splendid engine, he thought importantly. Henry says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Hurry, 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 he puffed, pretending to be like Gordon. As he passed the first single little box, he saw the men leaning out and waving and shouting. They pleased to see me, he thought. They never see me pulling a train before. It's nice of them to wave. And he whistled, peep, peep, thank you, and hurried on. But he came to a signal. Didn't you bother, he thought. I must stop. And I was going so nicely to where the news and signals are. He blew an angry peep, peep on his whistle. One of the singermen ran up. Hello, Thomas. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm pulling a train, said Thomas. Bradley, can't you see? Where are your coaches then? Thomas looked back. Why, bless me, he said. If we have left them behind. Yes, said the singleman. You better go back quickly and fetch them. Poor Thomas was so sad. He nearly cried. 
Just this way. Let's go up that quickly and try again. At the station. At the station, all the passengers were talking at once. They were telling the top and had the station master and the guard what a bad way it was. But when Thomas came back, they saw how sad he was. They couldn't be cross, so they coupled him to a drink, and this time he really pulled it. But for a long time afterwards, the other engines laughed at Thomas and said, Look, there's Thomas. Who wanted to pull a train? But forgot about the coaches. The end.